Hi, so here we have a problem which was sent by Mr. Dinesh Kumar from India and in this problem we have to find the value of k. k is the length of the chord AC and we are provided with two other chords, chord AB and chord AD. Both of them are making 30 degrees angle with chord AC. This angle and this angle both of them are 30 degrees and we are not given the radius of the circle. So how to solve it? First what I have done is I have drawn a perpendicular on line AC from point B. Then it will look something like so this PE is actually perpendicular to chord AC and if I see triangle BAF this angle is 90 degrees this angle is 30 degrees that means this angle is 60 degrees and similarly in triangle AFG this angle is also 60 degrees right so now this triangle ABG is actually an equilateral triangle that means all its sides are equal and that actually means AB is equal to BG is equal to AG and all of them are equal to 8 centimeters right and since this is an equilateral triangle, the angle bisector will also be the perpendicular bisector of side BG. So that means BF is equal to FG and both of them are equal to 4 centimeters. This total is 8 centimeters, so half of that will be 4 centimeters. So these are few observations. And now if I see chord AD and chord BE, these two chords are intersecting each other at point G. That means AG multiplied by GD will actually be equal to B. G multiplied by GE. This is intersecting chords theorem. So AG is 8 centimeters, GD is 10 minus 8 that is 2 centimeters and this is equal to BG which is 8 centimeters. AB is equal to BG is equal to AD multiplied by GE. So from here you will get GE is equal to 2 centimeters. Both these chords will be of equal lengths. So this much is 2 centimeters, this much is also 2 centimeters and this total is 8 centimeters and BF is 4 centimeters and FG is 4 centimeters, right? And again, I can use intersecting chords theorem in chords AC and chord BE. So here AC and BE are intersecting each other at point F. So AF multiplied by FC will be equal to BF multiplied by FE. AF will be equal to square root of 64, 8 square minus 4 square. So this will be equal to square root of 8 minus 4 that is 4 multiplied by 8 plus 4 that is 12. So this will be equal to 4 root. 3. This 12 can be written as 4 multiplied by 3 and then if I take square root it will be 4 root 3. Otherwise also this AF will be equal to 8 cos 30 and cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so that will be 4 root 3. So if AF is equal to 4 root 3 that means FC will be equal to K minus 4 3. And now let me substitute all these values over here. So AF is 4 root 3 multiplied by FC. FC is K minus 4 root 3. This is equal to BF which is 4 multiplied by FE and FE is equal to 4 plus 2, 6. So 4 root 3 K minus 48 will be equal to 24 or you can say 4 root 3 k will be equal to 24 plus 48 that is 72 or k will be equal to 72 divided by 4 root 3 and now if I multiply it by root 3 divided by root 3 this will be 18 root 3 divided by 3 and this will be equal to 6 root so we have found the value of k. k will be equal to 6 root 3. So this was an interesting problem and if you also have an interesting problem which you like to share with us you can send your problem to the number shown on the screen and for many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and bye bye till then.